Hey folks, t Witty here. Welcome back to Let's Play Drakengard 2. Last time we left off having acquainted ourselves with this game's version of the free expedition system from the first one. It seems like it's less time consuming. I have a... I feel like it's going to be less repetitive and go faster. Because it's not based on raw quantity of kills. It's based on actual experience. Like, shocker. Should have been in the original game, if you ask me. Square. It's made a lot of changes that should have been in the original game. Like, Love your, me. your weapon can level up during battle, which is amazing. Anyway, here we go. We are... <clears throat> anyway, we had maxed out all the weapons we were able to collect. We are now on chapter 2, verse 1. No way. <coughs> so Zhang Po and I are Excuse going me. to the district of Soul Flame on foot. Hurry up, hurry up! I'm already getting hungry. Let's finish this today, shall we? You take to the sky and watch our flanks. And be careful. So no way. Do you enjoy taking orders from that girl? Pathetic. Time you started to stand on your own two feet. Eris may be young. But she has a lot more battle experience than I do. Why shouldn't I follow her orders? Anyway, do you see the monsters yet? Oh yes, I see the vermin. I'm gonna burn them to ash. Look at all these monsters. What's about to happen here? Shoot down the monsters that threaten the endless grounds. Magna, level four. Those lieutenants are quite different from the rest of us. They aren't retreating! Exterminate all of the monsters flying over the district. Legna controls a lot more precisely than Andrew's in the first game. That's definitely nice. Legna is the best weapon in the game. That Zangpo character. I can't believe he's a god. We're mostly done. Let's head to the district. Uh, power corrupts. It is human nature. What's it like in the district of Soul Flame? Mission complete. There. Thank I see know. it. Is that the district of Soul Flame? I hope Eris and the others are alright. You obey her every command and follow her around like a puppy. When did you become such a psychopath, my boy? Alright, that one was quick. Wow. I 
mean, nothing new though. It gave us a new junction screen, but we're only five minutes in, so let's keep going. Look at this fog. I can't see a thing. This isn't any normal fog. It reeks of evil. We do well not to stay here too long. If this is a district, then the people live here too. Who knows? It has nothing to do with us. No way. Eris, are you alright? Yes, but I've lost contact with Sir Zangpo's forces. He must have gone ahead into the district. Let's go after him. Right. Slaughter the monsters that ravage the district of Soul Play. Enforcements have arrived. Secure the district with their help. I want to look 
look at my character levels. I know it, yeah, Eris is significantly higher. So if everyone's weapons are maxed, and I can't use Legma, well, there's no way, right? Makes sense to me. Reinforcements have arrived. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. Don't let them get any further. Wipe out or wipe them out.
will leave the rest to you. With your dragon, you're invincible! I sense a formidable foe. Go and test your skills. The undead horsemen are here. They command the enemy. Eliminate them. Leave the ghosts to me. They are no match for my holy spear. Each character is strong against certain enemies. For example, Eris is effective against the undead. Some characters are weak against certain foes. For example, no way's attack power decreases against the undead. If an attack is effective, the damage appears in red. If an attack is ineffective, the damage appears in blue. Amazing. Yes, 
so presumably Legna can't deal with these, right? Legna can't do shit. We were already told that no way can't deal with undead either, so. of the seal are here. I must inform her. Mission complete. There's nothing left to stop us now. The soul flame key should be ahead of us. So, Lieutenant Zhangpo is the guardian of another one of these keys that rob people of their lives. But, in the district of Shining Life, I don't remember there being any guardian. Why is that? The guardian of the district went missing. I don't know exactly what happened or where he went. Right. It looks like Lieutenant Zangpo has gone on ahead. Let's go. Soldier sword, long sword obtained. Cyclone Dance, five squares. Created using a secret technique, traits. With training, the wielder can master linear sweep attacks, magic, sonic blow, unleashes inner, inner energy, and sends enemies reeling. Level one, this sword was forged by a tribe using a closely guarded secret technique. In order to, in order to maintain secrecy, a daughter of the tribe was forced to kill her lover whom the elders suspected of spying for a neighboring tribe. She committed suicide soon after. Alright, here's our chance to save. Children, I hope you weren't loitering. My apologies, sir. Our way was blocked by the fog. Oh, yes, that fog is a damn nuisance. But we have to get inside and make sure the key is safe. Right, you lot. Go on ahead and be quick about it. What? You want us to go in there? Walk through the fog? Lieutenant Zangpo, you can't. It's too dangerous in there. They are the remnants of the Empire. They poisoned these lands. And now they have a chance to atone for their sins. They should thank us. But the war with the Empire was years ago. We can't keep punishing them. Insolent boy, hold your tongue or else. This is my land and you will not question my authority. Please wait. Lady Manor. Oh, it's oh, Lady Manor. It's her. Lady it's Manor. Her. It's Lady Manor. I have some knowledge of the black magic arts. 
I will go inside instead of these people. Will that be acceptable? If Lady Manor's going, then we will too. That woman, who is she? It's thanks to her we have such an abundance of martyrs. Saved us a lot of work she did. <laughs> martyrs? You mean sacrifices, don't you? No way! That is enough! Not in front of the Lieutenant. A few hours later. I didn't mean to do the Spongebob voice, it just came out. <laughs> They're late. Hey! What was that? An earthquake? Look! I think the fog is lifting. It must be that woman. She's done something. You two! We have to get inside those ruins! River, stop. Sorry about the dog. She, she refuses to dog today. Alright, I know 26 minutes is a little bit on the short side, but I don't have time to do the entire weapon grind before I have to be finished for today. So, that is gonna do it for this installment. Uh, but let's play Rock and Guard 2. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, I hope you leave a like. Consider dropping a comment. Ow. No, I changed my mind. Sorry. I am I am gonna try to uh if I have to stop, we'll just have a jump cut. Mm, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the prior ground expedition and we are gonna level up our uh, our new soldier sword. Yeah, changed my mind. Mid sentence.
money.
Level now at three. Huzzah. it ought to max out sometime during another expedition. Not to get the money either. 
I assume it's going to become useful at some point. Except that I haven't seen the story yet. That's
triangle. seal of restocked your items so I can just use a recovery powder every mission and doesn't even matter amazing okay shit let's put it right down in the sun beautiful alright now I do need to uh, I need to look at the weapon history for the soldier sword then we'll be finished with this episode ready to move on to chapter 2 verse 3 <clears throat> I should get a junction screen when I go back here. Very good. The tribe's sort of secrecy was maintained, but it came at a high price. Paranoia gradually spread, and the tribe began to punish and torture its own. They blackmailed each other, and soon <coughs> all order was lost. The torture methods were cruel. Some died of having melted iron poured into their mouths, and others simply lost their minds from the trauma of the ordeal. When all trust was lost within the tribe, they began to murder one another, and in a matter of days they had wiped themselves out, and so their secret technique remained a secret for all time, just as they had wished. Alright. 
that's going to do it for this installment of Let's Play Rocket Guard 2. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, I hope you will give it a like. Consider dropping a comment and subscribing to the channel. All of these things boost me in the algorithm and help me out tremendously. If you're interested, please check out my Discord and my Patreon. Those links are in the video description. Either way, I'm grateful for your time and attention. I appreciate you very much. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.